they're not going to put money in. And as you know, you know, after the Citizens United decision, there's unlimited amount of corporate money that can, they can go into politics. And if corporations are not going to be like giving money to the candidate that wants to clean up the world the most. <laughs> there are European corporations, right, who in Europe have these really progressive environmental policies because that's the way they need to be seen in Europe. But here in the United States, in the last election, they were giving money to climate denier candidates, right? So, um, so that they can act in an uncluttered way. So the democracy is about, it's about us. It's not about, it's not about, it's not about, the, the government's supposed to be supporting us. So Republican or Democrat, either way, if you want your vote to count, then the money's got to come out. And, and um, you know, there's, 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 but you can let your representatives, you know, there's, there are bills, there's, what we need, probably need is a constitutional amendment. That's a hard fight. That you can get involved, you know, that's the real answer to how we get our government to actually do something. But, but, <coughs> but it's a many shoulders against the door approach. Don't wait for the government to do something, do something else. The other thing is getting involved in city level and state level politics, where the corporations, you know, they don't have the, their eyes quite on those balls yet, right? That you, a lot of change can be affected at those, the real politics, I mean, real people politics happens. There. Thanks. So um, thank you guys so much for coming and for reading my book.